Here's your 41 Now update, sponsored by Kansas City Regional Association of Realtors. I'm Dia Wall. A driver hit and killed two people who were walking in Belton. Police say this happened last night along Peculiar Drive in between Cunningham Industrial Parkway and Cambridge Road. The victims are two men. Police got in touch with the suspected driver and say they've located the vehicle. The victim's name has not been released. A group aimed at fighting violence and helping those affected by crime taught people how to set up neighborhood watch programs. Today, the ad hoc group against crime talked with neighbors on Kansas City's east side. It showed people tools to help cut down on violence. You'll have to find another route this weekend. Right now, the Buck O'Neill Bridge is completely closed. Crews shut down the northbound lanes to replace the median there. They will reopen it at 6 p.m. tomorrow. Southbound lanes were already closed for renovations. Gerard Bailey has your forecast after this. Did you know not all real estate agents are the same? Look for the Realtor logo to be certain you have a qualified advocate on your side. Visit KCRAR.com for more information. I'm meteorologist Gerard Bailey with your forecast. This weekend is going to be a very interesting one. We have a front that's right across the area. That's going to mean a big split in our temperatures. Just depends on which side of the front you're on. To the north will be cooler. So at around 7 p.m. we're looking at temperatures in the 50s to low 60s there. We could reach the 70s to the south, which is along and south of I-70, including most of the metro. Overnight temperatures will not fall a whole lot. We're talking lows maybe in the low 60s. And uh, to start Sunday, already very warm. That front, again, to the north will keep a lot of cloud cover around the area. A couple of showers to the north and by the afternoon on Sunday, any areas to the south of this front could reach the 80s if there is any sunshine, but we will keep quite a bit of cloud cover again throughout the afternoon, but much cooler to the north of that front with uh, we'll see temperatures in the low 60s possible anywhere from St. Joseph northward. But here in the metro looks like it's going to be a pretty warm afternoon for Sunday with only a slight chance for a shower. Remember to get your latest news and weather updates anytime on KSHB. Look around our streets, our communities, our children. Now more than ever, we need the crime, we need the violence to stop. At 41 Action News, we say enough is enough. That's why we're taking action with Safe KC. Not just reporting the problems, but showing solutions with stories of hope, stories with answers. Because violence knows no race, no city, no zip code. Watch Safe KC only on 41 Action News and KSHB.com.